गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट लेट स्टार्ट प्रैक्टिस वन पॉइंट फोर क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स राइट शेडेड पोर्शन एज अ फैक्शन एंड अरेज देम इन डिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर ओके नाउ सी हाउ मेनी टोटल पार्ट आर यूर नाइन नाइन पार्ट आर टोटल पार्ट सी वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन नाइन पार्ट आर टोटल पार्ट एंड फ्रॉम दैट हाउ मेनी पार्ट आर शेडेड टू पार्ट आर शेडेड From that two parts are shaded. Okay. Now see next one figure. Total parts are nine. So right here in denominator place total parts. From that how many parts are shaded? Five parts are shaded. See one, two, three, four, five. Five parts are shaded. Okay. Now in this figure total parts are nine. See one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine parts are Total parts, okay. Nine parts are total parts. From that, how many parts are shaded? See, one only part is not shaded. So, how many parts are shaded? Eight parts are shaded. Okay. See, count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight parts are shaded parts. Okay. Now, in this figure, total parts are nine. Okay. And from that, three parts are shaded. One, two, three. Three parts are. Shaded parts. Okay. So now this, what it is given, right? Shaded portion as a fraction. Now see, it is written in the form of fraction and arrange them in descending order. Now we have to arrange this in descending order. Now descending order means what? Descending order. Descending order means what? Descending order means big to small. Descending order means big to small. Now, if you will observe this, denominators are same, so no need to make it same. Yes, already it is same. Denominators, all the denominators are same. So just we have to compare its numerator. So descending order means big to small. So which is greatest? Eight upon nine. Eight upon nine. Okay. Then after that, which number will come? Five upon nine. See, five upon nine. After that, which number will come? Three upon nine. Three upon nine. And after that, which number will come? Two upon nine. See here, two upon nine. So big to small. Descending order. Okay. Let's solve question number seven. Majid read thirty pages of book containing one hundred and eighty pages. Okay. Whereas Mala read one fifth of the same book. Mala read one fifth of the same book. Who read more? Okay. One fifth of the same book. Okay. So now see. First we'll see the how many pages Majid read. Majid read thirty pages of book containing one hundred and eighty pages. So total pages one hundred and eighty. Total pages are one hundred and eighty. From that, how many pages Majid read? Thirty pages he read. Okay, thirty pages he read. Okay, and now what it is given? Mala read. See here, I will write. Of Mala, Mala read one fifth of the same book. One fifth of the same book means same books. One fifth pages she read. Okay, so who read more? Who read more means here we have to compare. So for that we have two methods. For that we have two methods. Either we can do this number in lowest term, and then we can compare. Or now, what it is given? Mala read one fifth of same book. So in this book, how many pages are there? One hundred and eighty pages are there. Okay. So one fifth of of means multiplication one hundred and eighty. So now do the lowest term. Five ones are five. Five threes are fifteen. Five six are thirty. So how many pages Mala read? Thirty six pages Mala read. Okay. And Majid read thirty pages. From one eighty pages, how many he read? Thirty pages. Okay. Majid read thirty pages. Contain. 
getting 480 pages. Okay. So what are from 480 pages? How much Majid read? 30 pages. Okay. And Mala read one fifth of Mala read one fifth of the same book. Same book means 180 pages. So one fifth of 180 will come. One fifth. See what it is given. Mala read one fifth of same book. One fifth of the same book. Same book means how many pages? 180. One fifth of. So one upon five into 180. So how many pages Mala read? 36 pages. So who read more pages? Mala read more pages. Okay. So who read more pages? Mala read more pages. Okay. So or we can solve this sum by another way also. That also I will explain you. See. Majid read 30 pages. Okay. Pages of book containing 180 pages. And Mala read one fifth. Now this it is given in the fraction. So what we can do? We can do the lowest term for this. This is second one method I am showing you. Just this sum we can solve by any method. Okay, so 30 upon 180, lowest term we can do for this. Okay, so what we will get? See, upper 0, downside 0 get cancelled. So 3, 1, the 3, 3, 6 are 18. So 1, 6. Okay, so Majid read 1, 6 pages of book. Majid read 1, 6 pages of book. And Mala read 1, 5. Okay, Majid read. One sixth. Okay. And Mala read. One fifth. So what it is asked. Who read more? Who read more? See. Numerators are same. Numerators are same. We have to compare. Now who read more? We have to compare. Who read more? Yes. Majid read more or Mala read more. We have to compare this both the fractions. So if you will observe its numerators are same. If the numerators are same, smaller denominator is the greater number. Okay. It has smaller denominator. So this is the greater number. So who read more? Mala read more pages. Okay. Who read more pages? Mala read more pages. So at last we have to write Mala read more pages. Both the ways I have shown you. Now it is up to you with which way you have to write. Let's solve question number 9 from a water bottle of 1 liter. From a water bottle of 1 liter, Ram consumed 250 milliliter. Okay, now see this is given in liter and this it is given in milliliter. Okay, so this liter will convert in the milliliter. Okay, whereas Shira consume one fifth of a liter. Whereas Shira consume one fifth of a liter. Have they consumed same amount of water? If not, then who consume more water and more, who consume more water than other and by how much that we have to find. So from a water bottle of one liter, Ram consume. Ram consume. Ram consume how much? 250 milliliter. Okay. How much Ram consume? 250 milliliter. Okay. Whereas Sheila consume one fifth of a liter. Whereas Sheila consume. One fifth, Sheila consume one fifth of a liter. Okay, one fifth. See, one fifth of means multiplication. A liter, a liter. So what we have to do? One liter, one liter. See here it is given in the milliliter. So convert this one liter into milliliter. One liter means how much milliliter? Thousand milliliter. Now you have learned this. You can use the triangle also for this. Okay. Okay. So one fifth of. Of means multiplication. A liter. One fifth of a liter means. One fifth of thousand milliliter. Okay. One fifth of thousand milliliter. Okay. One fifth of a liter. A liter we can 
convert in the milliliter. Okay, liter we convert in the milliliter. Okay, so now do the reduce term for this. You can say the simplest form also or lowest term also for that. 5 1s are 5, 5 2s are 10, 5 zeros are 0, 5 zeros are 0. So 200 ml we got. Okay, so how much? Sheila comes you 200 ml. Okay, 200 milliliter. How they consume same amount of water? See, Ram comes you 250 milliliter of water. And Sheila comes you 200 milliliter of water. Okay, see. Here liter we convert in the milliliter. See, Ram consumed 250 milliliter. Here it is given in milliliter. So what we did? Sheila consumed one fifth of a liter. Of a liter. Per liter means one liter. One liter means thousand milliliter. So here I have written thousand milliliter. Okay. So do the reduce term. What we got to answer? 200 milliliter. Now what it is asked? Have they consumed same amount of water? No. What will come? They have not consumed same amount of water. If not, then who consume more water than other and by how much? Now, what it is asked in third part, if not, they have not consumed same amount of water. If not, then who consume more water than other and by how much? Who consume more water? Ram consume more water and by how much? By 50 ml what you are going to do? Who consume more water than other and by how much? So the water which Ram consume from that we have to subtract the water which Sheila consume. Okay. Who consume more water? Ram consume more water. Yes. Amen. 